guys. I'm with Diani. I'm with my friends. They came over to Mombasa and I had to take them round and I'm so excited. So guys, we came in very late yesterday. We just picked somewhere to lay our hand and it turns out it is not so bad. And yesterday was so much fun. We played so many games, danced to music, just our thing, you know? Girls hanging out, Fanti, Momboka, Iyo. It was just so much fun. So guys, let the day begin. So guys, you know how much I love water and surprisingly the water is cold! <laughs> This is Tara's nest. Check out her content. She does very nice interior de deco and interior design. So check out her deco. Oh yeah, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Adia. <laughs> my friend. Swimming in rain, not a good idea. One, two, three, go. Sharon! Yay! 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 Guys are winning! <laughs> Some people have decided to run in the rain. Well, my friend, you can't get a bikini. So, I'm going to get a mama. It's in the rain. Guys, look at this guy here. He wants me to leave my thing now in the rain in front of people. Hannah, let me just hold this again. <laughs> and you're still running. The place is a bit messed up because we slept here, but let's just check it out. Storage, kitchen, it's quite equipped. Just know it's quite equipped. It has enough utensils, by the way. And then we have a pretty living room, even though the TV is small. But what I'm, I've realized is that this place looks like it has not had hosted people for some time. So I'm guessing it is the whole Corona thing. Look at this, Mother Africa, hmm? and I'm somewhere here. It is a two-bedroom apartment, and this one is the master and suit. Voila! Imagine how neat we leave these houses. Very neat, don't you think? Very neat. So this is a queen-size bed, which can accommodate three people, and all that. And it is in suit, of course. Simple but functional. There is this huge balcony, but one thing about the balcony is that when you leave this door open, monkeys will come in. It has eaten us some fruit juice of ours. And as usual, carry your music. Both rooms have enough storage, by the way, and they have some really nice curtains. And then corals. This whole building is finished with coral walls and I love corals. Touch of class. So this is the other bedroom. It also has a simple bathroom with hot water, thank God. And then you see, we tried to reconstruct the room. So this is the other bedroom. So guys, now let's hit the road and have some adventure. Come with us. Now, 
guess how much this place is? 10,000. Two bedroom furnished apartment. Very affordable. Thought I knew you so well. But there's a dark shade to your intent. Hi. So this is my first time in Miami. Actually, in my head, I thought Vienna was a small place. But it turned out to be a big place, and so far, I'm loving it. Let's see how much we can explore. Yeah, we can still explore. Yes. Yeah. There's plenty in Diani actually. I'm yeah. surprised. Yeah, there's plenty. You see this, usually in Diani when you pass by, mm -hmm. you'll just think that it's just like a, a dead place. You'll just see maybe um, entrances here and there, but you won't see even a structure of a building that will show you how the place looks. But once you get into these hotels, I'm telling you, what? Hey! <laughs> State of the art. We are headed to have our breakfast at Swahili Beach Resort. And I was there a long time ago. I've seen it several years, but I just want to see it. if it's still the same Swahili Beach Resort I know. So we will tell you gospel truth, whether it is worth the hype or not. So guys, we came in late, the breakfast, they're no longer serving breakfast. Now we are going elsewhere to have breakfast. So we cannot give a comment on how Swahili Beach was. Swahili Beach Resort was. So let's go. Was your father a sailor? This was meant to be a picnic by the beach, but it's raining. Mother Nature has other plans, so we're just having our meal and then we'll look for something else to do in this. Okay, hopefully, the weather will be better so that we can explore this place because if it continues like this until the evening, the day will be very, very wasted. We came across this old ruins for a casino apparently it was called the casino nyali it appears like it was a very beautiful place because there was a swimming pool here there was a swimming pool here a huge one to the other end and there is that elephant there at the at the entrance there was that elephant and here this was like a casino and then underground there was a club like a proper club behind there it was a i'm told it's called casanova I didn't know a strip club is called a Casanova, but behind there, there was a strip club. That was 23 years ago. Imagine, this place has been like this for 23 years ago. So what happened, the people who are doing the gambling and all that disagreed and they put this place on fire. Since then, no one has ever done anything in here. We cannot go to the underground space where there was the club because it is dangerous first of all this is a building that has been standing like this for a very long time unattended and second of all we've been told that there might be things that have, are hidden there that we are not supposed to see so it is only safe for us to remain up here but you can imagine if this place was like this it looks like this right now how did it look 20 years ago this must have been a very big deal so guys we have discovered something so you know the casino ruins enjoy the beach but we found out that the beach is this the beach is actually very beautiful but the water the, the tides are quite high so the water comes to the edge of the of the hotel and it's very difficult to enjoy the beach when the, there is high tide but all the same we made we made the best out of it so actually nomad is one of the best hotels in diani i've made a video on the same so guys, go and check out the video on the best restaurants in Diani and you'll see how the whole place looks 
in an ideal situation when it is sunny and when there is no high tide so just go and check that video it's totally awesome now we are headed to the next place actually by the way guys today it looks like the weather has been against us it's been raining there is high tide we are trying to make the best out of it we are getting hiccups here and there but we are still having fun while at it, while at it. so let's go to the next place my empathy just took a blow i'm just taking my girlfriend to tour diani and just check out everything good about diani at times in diani we just show up and go to these villas imagine most of them are not in those booking sites they are not like in booking.com they are not in airbnb so you just come and just get a villa that you feel like would suit your needs and you just go in and ask for accommodation unless it is the very very peak season maybe like december yesterday we did that and we got a decent place at times just be open to surprises Underneath your spell 